Hello everyone. Um, okay, so today I'm going to be talking about coming out of the broom closet, um, as we're all doing this week. And I guess I would consider myself halfway out of the broom closet. Um, a couple of my friends know, my close family knows, but that's it. Um, it's not something I really want to tell the world at the moment. And I just want to get into some reasons for that, some of the benefits and also the dangers of coming out of the room closet. Um, the real problem that people have are people, people who will not respect you for it, people who are close-minded, people who are ignorant. Um, you see this happening all the time. People are afraid of what they don't understand. and Almost everyone, well, most people don't understand what Wicca is. They don't understand what paganism is. They don't understand what it is that real witches actually do. You know, apparently no one's smart enough to go online and do some research, but most of the time they hear this word, they don't know what it is, and they're afraid of you because they're afraid of what they don't understand. And then they will sometimes turn to the movies. They turn to the rumors. They turn to the stereotypes. Um... You know, old warty hag stirring a cauldron, poisoning the beautiful girl in Snow White, and riding broomsticks. It's just not what people actually do. But when people look at these movies and they look at these um, TV witches, they start to think that that's what witches really are. That that was that's what witches always are, and that you actually believe you can do some of those things, that, that you actually do some of those things, and then they think you're crazy. Obviously, because no one really actually does that. Um, and I think that's one of the reasons that people might pick on you. Um, they might pick on you because, you know, general close-mindedness. There are um, other religions, there are other societies that do not think paganism is a good thing, um, and do not think witches are good people. And they, sometimes you'll run into someone who is so close-minded and they're so ignorant, and they just, they don't want to listen to you, um, because of this title that you've given yourself, of pagan or witch, or whatever your title is. They, they, they think it's a bad thing, so they think you're a bad person. But, is it really a bad thing? And do they really know um, for sure what it is that you stand for and what it is that you believe and what it is that you do? Um, the most important thing, the most, the people that are most likely to respect you, to be polite, and to, um, and to not be mean, basically, are the people who are well informed well informed of, of the morals and the ethics that are involved in paganism and what it actually means and everything like that. If you can explain yourself, um, it's definitely going to help. And that brings me to my next point where, especially when you're telling like your parents or something like that, um, your close friends, these people want what's best for you. And sometimes they don't think paganism or Wicca or witches are good. The most important thing, well, a couple, two most important things. The first thing is that you have to respect them. You have to listen to them, um, listen to their opinion, respect their opinion, and treat them with kindness. Because if you are clear-headed, you approach them um, clear-headedly and responsibly, responsibly, they are more likely to respond. If you have a, a positive manner about you, they're more likely to respond positively, and this is true for anyone. And it's important, especially when you're talking to your parents and you're still living in your parents' house or whatever, um, to respect them because they have authority over you. When you're living in your parents' house, they have the authority. Um, and they want what's best for you as well. They want to know that this is going to be something good. So you have to express that to them. You have to show them that you are responsible, that you are clear-headed, that you are that this is a good thing for you, that this is um, a positive experience for you. 
And by doing that, they're definitely a lot more likely to agree and to let you do what you do and to let you explain yourself, well, more. You have to be, you have to respect people because they'll respond to you in a more positive way. It's also important to know what you're talking about. You can't go around saying, oh, I'm a witch, I'm a witch, I'm a witch, but not actually knowing what that means and what real witches do and what real witches, well, real pagans and everything believe. Um, I think so many people, they hear that they can be witches and that they can do magic and they get so excited and they start telling everyone, oh yeah, I'm going to be a witch, I'm a witch, I'm a witch. But magic is so much more profound than reading off an incantation and expecting something to happen. You can't defy the laws of physics um, or anything like that. It's very real and very natural. And, like I said, you can't divide the laws of physics, the laws of gravity, the laws of the way things work, you know? And you have to, uh, I lost my point, what I was trying to say. You have to be able to explain yourself um, and to know what you're talking about. Because if you don't, no one's going to treat you with respect. No one is going to respect your opinion and respect your views. Um, no one is going to think that they are valid because you have nothing to back it up. You have no proof. You have no reasons. You are just calling, calling yourself a witch. And for people that don't know what real witches are, they are going to think you're a little crazy because they're thinking, okay, so this person wants to be a hag stirring the cauldron and hexing people. That, that doesn't paint a very good picture. Um, the truth is that's not what we do. The truth is that's not. Um, most people don't cast hexes, and when they do, it's only for, like, rapists and murderers that they feel really deserves it. But anyway, knowing your stuff will infinitely gain you more respect. Um, coming out of the room closet, I think, is much easier to do with people you trust, and that's why I am half out. People you trust want what's best for you. They are more likely to respect your opinion, and especially if you approach them positively and with um, a good knowledge background, they will respect your opinion, and they'll let you do what you do. And I have told a couple of friends, both of whom were kind of curious um, as to what it was, but then they said, oh, you know, that's kind of a positive thing for you, good for you. It's not something they were into, but they let me do it. My sister was interested for a while, but she decided, you know, this isn't the type of spirituality I want to get into right now, and that was fine, and I do my own thing. And then when I told my parents, they basically, they didn't ask any questions. They said, well, as long as you're thinking for yourself, as long as you're safe, we're going to let you explore. And I think that's really beneficial for me, to have parents like that. Um, the reason that they didn't teach me a lot of the details of the religion, they kind of glossed over the basics, and we celebrated the holidays, but um, we didn't take me to synagogue, didn't take me to church, or anything like that. And it was because they wanted me to choose for myself what religion I wanted to believe in, if I wanted to believe in a religion, and choose my own spiritual path, I guess. And that has been really, really good, I think. Um, my dad loves to give me lectures, and he likes to tell me, you know, make sure you don't let other people um, make your decisions for you. Make sure you don't get into all these cults and stuff that were everywhere. You have to think for yourself. You have to think for yourself. And he's telling me that all the time. And I, I gained a really good response. And that, so that was lucky for me. It's different when you have someone that um, has a belief already about, about paganism, about witches. Someone who already has a negative view, it's going to be hard to change their mind. And this is where... You have to be really diplomatic, and you have to choose who it is you tell first, and what you're ready for. You really um, want to make sure you're ready. Um, like I said, if you approach it in the right way, even people with a negative view, even your parents, can be convinced that it is a positive thing, but you don't want to force people to do it. And like I said, people will not respect you if you are mean to them, if you try to force them to believe what you believe, or force them really to do anything or have a rebellious air about you.
Um, you know, and that the benefit of only telling a few people is that you can tell the people that you know are more likely to have a positive view, or at least that's where you can start on your way to telling the world. You have to know what you're ready for. Um, if you are not ready to take the hate, take the negativity and turn it around and use it to educate other people, um, and if you don't think you can keep a clear head about yourself, then maybe it's not something you want to do. But it's not something to be overly afraid of. I mean, yes, there are dangers, but there are also benefits. Um, simply being able to tell people what you're doing in your spare time and be able to talk about your beliefs is so satisfying. Um, the first step to coming out, if you're thinking about this is something you might want to do, um, do it slowly. The first step I would say, go online and see if you can talk to fellow pagans. And as long as you're safe online, as long as you go to safe sites and um, keep your personal details safe, you should be okay. Um, and talk to some fellow pagans if you can find them. You've got all sorts of groups on all these social networking sites. You have Witchbox, which is a great resource. Um, they have all sorts of articles and listings for witches all over the world. Um, so I think that would be a really good place to start. You'll be able to talk about your spirituality. And when you believe something so strongly, and you do something with such passion and excitement, you want to tell the world. And you know, that's how I felt. But you don't want to do it before you're ready, because there's always going to be someone who doesn't take it positively, who is um, close-minded and ignorant. And sometimes people are so close-minded, they won't even listen to you. They won't listen to you. You can't teach them a thing. You can't force them to do anything because they won't even listen. You can go ahead and explain rationally why it is you believe a certain thing or do a certain thing, but they won't read it. They will continue to bash you because they are very, very, very close-minded. This is, does not always happen, but it can happen. And you have to be aware of that. Um, horror stories pop up left and right, but there are the benefits as well. And um, being true to yourself, that's another benefit. You are able to live the way you want to live. You are able to be true to your true self. And that in itself is very fulfilling spiritually. Um, and it just it just feels good just to be able to be yourself and not be in that environment where you can't be yourself. And that's one of the major benefits of coming out of the broom closet. Um, and then finally, um, the last thing would be I wanted to say about the benefits was court and law. If you think someone fires you or is discriminating against you or whatever um, because of your religion, if you're not openly religious and you um, don't openly tell people um, I'm pagan and explain when asked and everything, then you're not going to have a case. You're not going to be able to say they fired me because I was pagan because you can't prove that they knew you were pagan because you weren't open about it. If you're open about it, um, and you know for a fact they knew you were pagan, and you think that they are discriminating against you, that's when you can do something about it. So there's the kind of law aspect as well, if you're working and everything. Charming Pixie Flora actually is where I heard this first. Um, she has a video on that, uh, coming out of the room closet and stuff, so um, you can watch that as well. Oh, let me see. I know my time's almost up. I feel like I haven't been it every day. Um, First of all, know what you're ready for. Know what you're ready for. If you're ready to take that negativity and um, be able to accept that this happens sometimes and be able to um, ignore it and even turn it into something positive and even be able to educate people about your religion, about other spiritualities, um, then go for it. If not, you could start with um, going online and seeing um, how it feels just to talk to other people, and especially if you're solitary, talking to other people is so good. And you can journal all you want. It's always, it's usually better to talk to someone. Um, just, just that act just feels good. Um, and then I would say, you know, you're talking to people online and stuff. If you feel that you want to start um, telling people, you know, and start coming out of the room closet and being able to show that side of your, yourself, I would start with your family and move on from there and the people who want what's best for you. Blessed be 